China's arid northwest in Gansu province. I've come here to meet with a multi-generational group of people, families of farmers that have committed their entire lives to combating desertification across the Babusha Desert. Forty years ago, this entire area was barren, with expanding sand dunes as a result of drought and overcropping. As the last of the first generation of farmers to be known as the six old men, Zhang Runyuan, together with five other villagers, began planting trees together dating back to the 80s. By the turn of the century, their shovels and hands would plant more than 10 million trees across 50 square kilometers of desert. In 2019, the locals of Babusha were recognized for their anti-desertification efforts during a visit by Chinese President Xi Jinping. It was right here where Chinese President Xi Jinping plowed through some of the soil, taking part in the desertification control measures here in Gansu province. And what the six old men have accomplished and continue to do over the past several generations resonates with what the Chinese president referred to as the Yugong spirit. The locals later told me that the spirit of Yugong, taken from Chinese folklore, refers to the tireless efforts of generations who aim to change the seemingly impossible and treacherous natural environment. As the six old men aged, they made a pact, a commitment that all of their families would carry on the arduous task of pushing back the desert. But Guo Wangang, a second-generation farmer was reluctant in the beginning when his father passed the responsibility to him to maintain the greenery they had started. Then calamity struck in 1993 a sandstorm that left 23 people dead, including 18 children. This changed Guo forever, realizing the significance of what his predecessors had set out to do. As he looks on at the saplings that have been planted, growing taller day by day, his determination to curb the desert's expansion has only been amplified over the past few decades. So we've been speaking with Mr. Guo for this past hour or so. We've been sort of setting up these grass grids here to protect the, the sand from flying around. And from his experience, he's been doing this for four generations, four decades. Every day, 6.30 a.m. in the morning to 6.30 at night, maybe even longer. Uh, not much in sight here uh, in this desert. So they've been doing this for so long, three generations of different families, different farmers out here, uh, all doing this to hopefully have some vegetation in the future, protect the spread of sand, and hopefully bring some more greenery and color to Babusha. I gotta keep going.
，我们现在的生态环境，比我四十年之前要好得多了。那么，呃，所以呢，老人们也给我们带了个好土。今后呢，我们一定不辜负总书记对我们的奉承教诲。那么，他们的这个精神呢，我们一定要一代一代要发扬下去。Seeing the third and youngest generation carrying on what their grandfathers first started, I realize how their spirit has adapted with the times, bringing new approaches and ideas to the sands. These are the people who have been able to do this. They have not been able to do this. They have been able to do this. But we have been able to do this. 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 呃，说说家家肉苁蓉，肉苁蓉它是一种中药材，它只能起到防风固沙的作用，还能产生精致效能。Over a span of 38 years, three generations of the six old men have pushed back more than 2,000 hectares of sand and planted 30 million trees across the desert. Nearly 7,000 hectares of farmland has now been protected, with a green corridor now established to prevent further spread of the sand. The country's top leadership recognized them as role models of environmental protection and has called for unremitting efforts to consolidate China's green ecological barriers. The dividends will perhaps bear fruit in years to come.